Yes. Okay. So um, <clears throat> you're just um, just go get back to you know we're talking a little bit about um, you know just uh, relations with um, with other with Anglo's during that time mm. period that you were. Well, on. I got along all right, with, yeah. but like in all places, there's some that won't accept you. Yeah. Okay. Now, as far as you know, with public transportation and everything, were you ever, you know, discriminated? Yeah, discriminated. No. But they used to have a crest downtown. It's a five and ten. Okay. And I remember getting off the bus and we would decide to have a cherry coke and they wouldn't wait on us. Wouldn't wait on us. Hmm. We'd sit there and wait and they ignore us. So finally we just left. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now were you involved with any political organizations? Other than voting, no. Okay. All right. in any um, relations with uh, African Americans? Um. Well, I'll tell you where we lived was, we lived in the corner of um, Weatherford and Live Oak. Mm -hmm. And Katie cornered to us, the blacks started. Mm -hmm. We played with them. Yeah. I mean, there was never any hostility towards us. We'd play with them. They'd come over to our house or, they were the only ones that had a TV. So we were yeah. there. <laughs> and uh, of course my brothers um, grew up with whites in the neighborhood. Mm. And the blacks. Mm. They, they were just accepted in the area where I lived. Mm. Didn't make any difference. Mm. We just didn't go to school together. Yeah. I know the Haley's lived a, a catty corner to us. Now, um, let's see here, just look at a little bit back here. Um, you mentioned here that um, as far as, um, you know, you remember how the city was, way, you know, how much has it changed since? Oh, God, you know, yes. What would you? Uh -huh. I even remember the grocery store that was on Belknap. I say a grocery store because it was a big tent. Mm -hmm. And I was little, so whenever they went to buy groceries, they had barrels outside, but I can't remember if they had crackers in the barrels or what they had. But they saw, s sold them off the barrels. Mm. But it was a big, big tent. And that was a grocery store, and that was on Belknap. Mm. Which wasn't very far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the area where you grew up at is, uh, was right by downtown? And yes, that's where I, downtown. Uh, the first years, that's yeah. where I grew up, and then we moved on to East, uh, well, not really east. It's uh, still downtown because we even walk from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so kind of like the uh, Diamond Jarvis area, or oh no, no, not, no. no. Uh, they used to call it Rock Island. Rock Island, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. that area. And it was a mixture of mm -hmm. people, and I'll tell you the same thing. Everybody was same conditions, mm -hmm. low income, whites. Mm -hmm. Blacks, Mexicans. Mm -hmm. But I remember at one time before there, uh, we lived um, on Valley Street, which is part of um, that parking lot, Tandy parking lot, which we used to be uh, Leonard's parking lot. Mm -hmm. Have you been here long? Mm, yeah, yeah. I, you know where I'm at? Well, well, we lived over there, and when my sister would take me to visit her friend, we had to pass. Um, Henderson Bridge. Mm -hmm. Well, I still remember the people that lived under there. Oh. You've seen the third world country checks they have? Mm -hmm. Well, that's exactly what they had under the bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, all the boys used to swim off of Trinity. Mm -hmm. Right off where that bridge is, mm -hmm. that's where they would mm -hmm. swim off. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it looks like um, Let's see, we touched on like pretty much everything that you uh, mm -hmm. kind of felt out there. Is there anything, any, uh, anything else particularly you wanted to talk about? Um, you know, no, come to the I had good teachers. Okay. When I first went in there, I knew not a word of English. But they didn't put programs apart for us. Mm -hmm. You went in there and you either learn or not. Mm -hmm. So it, all of our families, it didn't take long for us to catch on and 
go on. And you couldn't speak, the, we weren't allowed to speak in Spanish. I remember when I first went in there, somebody was talking a lot, that teacher thought it was me and she'd take my mouth. And it wasn't me. I've always resented that because it wasn't me talking. But she didn't know the difference. So my mouth got taped. Do you know how humiliating that was? Now if I'd have been responsible, I could have accepted that. But that was just a lot of prejudice. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Well, I guess we could, we could find a stopping point. Mm -hmm. um, and, That's uh, fine. Yeah, and uh, since I have anything else, but uh, I appreciate your time for you coming out here and uh, you know.